All right. Can you guys hear me? All right. Can you guys hear me? Just testing here. If you guys can hear me, then I guess that's a good thing. All right, it looks like we got people that can hear me. Okay, good. Well, hi everybody, Flock TV here, and welcome to tonight's live stream. This is actually going to be a rather special one because as you can tell by the title, I am gonna be hosting this live stream to show you behind the scenes of this season's Daylight Savings Time change. Yeah, as you guys may know, I do this every season whenever we change the clocks forward or backward. But this time, I decided to do this BTS live stream for you guys, just so you guys get to see how exactly I make this kind of video. Because I've done it for the past two years now, I believe. Because I believe I started it in spring of 2020, or maybe it was fall of 2019, I can't remember. But, Welcome everyone who's in the chat. Looks like we got 23 people on here at the moment. So, how's it going everybody? It's great to see everyone here. So this stream, I'm just going to show off myself basically getting all the clips that are needed for this Daylight Savings Time video. And because of how many clocks I have, definitely it's going to be a long one. So, brace yourselves. <laughs> And as stated in the description, I won't be reading the chat very much because I'll be busy recording videos. So just take note of that. I won't see every message, so please respect that. I just want to get the ground rules out before we get started. And clock requests, I won't be taking those this evening because I'm going to be busy recording, obviously. So yeah, with that said, I'm going to go ahead and aha. Here I am. <laughs> so hi guys. I haven't shown myself in quite a while, I feel like. But we're going to go ahead and get this started. I'm hooking this up on my webcam. I'm probably going to move it around every now and then just so you guys can see me the whole time. And so, yeah. I think without further ado, we should go ahead and get started. But actually, I would like your guys' opinions. What clocks do you think I should start out with this stream? I had a thought on starting out with the entryway, such as that one big black shelf and the grandfather clocks, but I'm wondering what section I should start with. I kind of want your guys' opinions, but it just comes down to what gets the most votes, because I thought about doing the starting, the entryway right there, but it depends on what you guys want. And I'm thinking based on the timing, we may start once the uh, 11 o'clock bell happens. It'll make it pretty easier, honestly, for me to change, like, for instance, the grandfather clocks and the Howard Millers and Hermleys and stuff and such. Sorry. But let's see what we got going on here. We got Grandfather Clocks, Sandringham, Cuckoo Clocks, Bracket Clocks, and someone said the entry, okay, we got something for that. Um, <laughs> yeah, I do have a mustache. I mean, I've been growing it for a while, I just don't shave it. I don't know if I want to get much into facial hair. <laughs> but... <laughs> uh, let's see what we got going on here. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I definitely have aged quite a bit. Yeah, Canes is amazing. You guys probably already see my shirt. Canes. Raising Canes, if you guys have ever heard of that. Um, it's amazing. Probably my favorite fast food chain. I got this shirt on a recent vacation I took. And, yeah. Um, looking at the chat here. 
Some people are requesting I do Sandring Hand first. I mean, I could get a clip of it first, but I'm, I'm going to put the clips in a certain order, like specifically where they're located. I mean, I would probably put the entryway first, but in terms of filming, I would probably do whatever you guys think. So, yeah, I'm a Pacers fan. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm going to try and get every clock, depending on if there's any that have dead batteries or have stopped unexpectedly. I mean, I can already tell you Howard Miller Regulator stopped, unfortunately. So, uh, that's going to mess things up. The ones with the issues, I mean, 613226 is still running, knock on wood. Um, let me notify Discord real, real quick. Okay, there we go. Alrighty. Yeah, I'm gonna get Jenison. We'll do every. We'll do pretty much every single clock. But yeah, this is gonna take quite a while to edit. I'm probably gonna be up super late because it's already almost 11 p.m. here. Um, let's see what we got here. I don't know why. I mean, it's out of beat. I feel like. 613226, it is really inconsistent with beat. Every now and then it'll work, and every now and then it just won't. But, knock on wood, it's currently running right now. Let's see here. How many clocks? This is a question I've tried figuring out for a while. However, I'm sure... There's probably some other people out there that have counted for me, and for that, I appreciate it. I, I'm i just too lazy, honestly. I've lost track. <laughs> uh, let's see. I have played Angry Birds before. That is a nostalgic game. <laughs> I think the Rio version is my favorite. I've heard that daylight savings might soon be permanent. I've been hearing rumors that it's supposedly permanent after this time. But some others are saying that's not the case. I don't know who to believe, but I'll just have to look into it more. And meanwhile, um, madness is starting, so that means we're going to start soon. I'll let this speak for itself.
Has everything else gone off? Okay, I think, yeah, once Jock's done, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I'm gonna go ahead and move my webcam so you guys can see me get this show on the road. Ah, Seth, it's kind of a poor placement. Okay. That's the best I'll get, but I'm gonna just get a clip of the entryway. So, <coughs> excuse me. Okay, let's get this started. Three, two, one, action. Hi everybody, Clock TV here, and welcome to another video. But this one is a rather special one, because I'm sure you guys are probably thinking, is this a winding clock series video? Well, let's first look at the date and time. November 5th. That date seems familiar. Oh yeah, it's that day guys. It's daylight savings time yet again. And I gotta turn these clocks back. And this is the first time I'm doing this in this new shop. Because the spring of 2022, I was still at my old place. But, this is going to be the first time doing this at the new shop. And I'm going to have a lot of stuff to cover. But we're turning the clocks back because it's the fall of 2022. And so, yeah. I don't have much more to say to this other than we should probably get right into this. Because this is probably going to be a very long video. Because I have to go over pretty much every single clock that's currently running. Ooh, this is going to be quite the chore. But with that said, let's go ahead and get right into this. Okay. Let's see here. Um, I'm thinking, let's see. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and start with the entryway. I need to fix my webcam. There we go. Alright, we're gonna do the grandfather clocks. And the black shelf here. Let me, uh. Alright, that should be good. Three, two, one, action. I, eh, nope. I just failed that, shoot. All right, let's try this again. Take two, three, two, one, action. So as per usual, I'm going to start over here by the entryway, which consists of the two grandfather clocks and the giant black shelf with some of the smaller mantle clocks that I have. So let's go ahead and get started with that. And the first one is going to be Colonial. So let's get right into that. And because it's just after 11, this will be pretty easy to do. Just like that. Now for its little sister, sibling, whatever you want to call it. Two big ones are done. All right. There you go. You just saw me change Colonial and Emperor right here on a live stream. <laughs> You're going to see it a second time, hopefully tomorrow, depending on how long it takes me to edit. Let me see. Is the chat still going? Let me take a look. Alright, there. I thought the chat malfunctioned for a second. Alright, now for the black shelf. Three, two, one, action. Now for the tall black shelf. 
which as stated earlier has some of my smaller mantle blocks. Starting on top, we will go ahead and do my uh, Seth Thomas Timber mantle block. It is 06. There we go. Moving down, this is pretty much the only one I can do. It's a little ahead, but no big deal. And this one's running. I'm going to see if I can just... There we go. I can do that one. Simple as that. Moving down. Let's do this one. A little too far. There we go. Let's see if I can reach back here and do... Oops, wrong one. There we go. All right, get this guy back here. It's a tight squeeze, but and there we go. Now I'll take this one out. shelf's done. Let's move down and actually I'm going to take these off and make individual clips of them. Uh, yeah, I'll have to do individual clips. These are going to have to and shoot, that just came out. Darn it. Okay, one thing I want to bring up with you guys, you know this West Clock's alarm clock, right? The one issue is, you know, the little piece, the time side right here, it just will not stay in, and it will just fall out. So this might be kind of complicated to do with one hand. So I am going to... I need to figure this out. I am going to move my webcam. <coughs> Excuse me. And Okay. We're going to try this out here. And 3 2 1 action. Here's my West Clock's alarm clock, which is really finicky to hold, but we're going to see if we can turn it back. It is hard doing this with one hand, but I can get through it. Yeah, there we go. We got that one. Yay. Oh, someone just gave a super chat. Hold up. Dallas's clocks. Someone gave a super chat. Thank you very much. Holy cow. Thanks for the super chat. I appreciate it. <laughs> wow. I realize now we actually got two other super chats a few, about two hours prior to starting this stream, so that's pretty crazy. <laughs> Thank you so much for the super chat. I appreciate it. Okay. I'm going to do this one now. Oh wow, that works out perfectly. <laughs> 
Nice. All right, let's get this show going. Three, uh, let me turn on my flash actually. There we go, that works out way better. All right, three, two, one, action. I'm gonna go ahead and do this little pendulum clock that I have. Should be easy enough, depending on if I can, there it is. There we go, that one is done. All right. Now what's next is the question. Oh, I guess we'll do the West Clocks. Someone subscribed. Thank you. I might have to do this on my chair. All right. Three, two, one, action. Now we're gonna do this little antique West Clocks clock. There is no stand on it right now because I took it off its shelf, but let's see if we can get this anyways. There we go, that worked out perfectly. All right. Got that. So now, uh, oh, that pretty much includes, concludes everything on that shelf. Wow. I guess we can get to uh, these. So let's do just that. If I can adjust my webcam, there we go. All right. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, let me get my camera fixed here. There we go. All right, three, two, one, action. Now that I just cleared off the black shelf, I didn't get everyone, some of them are missing batteries, but we're now going to move over to this shelf. Got a bunch of little other clocks and these three wind-up ones and colonials going off please excuse that we're gonna do this cottage clock first and since this one is time only this one is simple enough I can pretty much just do that and be on my way now as for Ingram Unfortunately, I am just going to have to stop the pendulum for one hour because obviously I can't turn this back. So I will change that back up later. Rocks Hall, simple enough because it's time only. I can just do that. And there we go. So there, we got these three wind up ones. And while I'm at it, I'm gonna go ahead and do my Zodiac Art wall clock, which should be easy enough. Instead, I'm just going to wait for that, and there we go. That is done. All right. So now we're going to do the uh, smaller ones down there. And that includes this alarm clock, this, these two, and uh, those two alarm clocks down there. Did everything, yeah, everything just went off, okay. All right, let's come down. Three, two, one, action. Now 
now I'll come down to these few ones right here. A bunch of smaller battery operated desk clocks, you could say, along with alarm clocks. We'll start off with this Jensen radio clock. This one is sort of finicky, at least the hour button. See, it's kind of glitchy. I have to press it a certain way in order to... I have to press it more on the left side in order for it to work. I don't know why it's doing this, but... Well, it, I just put it eight minutes ahead, but I'll have to fix that later. Well, technically, I could just simply do it right now, but that might hog up time a little bit. Looks right to me. Now let's go ahead and uh, do these two. Or, well, actually not that one because that one is dead. There we go. Now for my Washington DC clock. This is one of my, I mean, it's a pretty nice one. Not one of my favorites, but very well designed. This one is a head slightly. Let's fix that. There we go, got those three shelves. Let's come down here and do these right here. I have to be kind of gentle with this one because all right, that one was pretty easy. Let's do this one. And there we go, there's that. Okay, I don't know what went wrong with uh, that one. It, this is not the first time it's had that issue. So, yeah. I don't know what I'm gonna have to do about that. But I got those done, so now, let's go to, yeah, let's do cuckoo clocks. Those are conveniently located. should be a good view. It's kind of a tight squeeze right there, but I'm going to come over here and get a clip from way back here. All right, three, two, one, action. Now we're going to go ahead and come over to my cuckoo clocks. I've got them all running this evening, so let's go. There, just got a little bit of intro clip right there. Okay. Go ahead. I'm going to start on the right side. Three, two, one, action. We're going to first start with this one, but unfortunately, because I can't turn it back, I'm just going to stop the pendulum for the time being. I will fix it an hour later. This one I don't have running. We can do this one, though. The one thing I'll do this time is I'm going to silence it and just turn it. A much quicker way. And I'll turn it back on, and there we go. Now I'll do this one. I, of course, have to stop the pendulum for this one, so I will fix that later. We'll come to this one. I can simply just turn that back. And then we come down to this little fella, in which you cannot move the hour hands, so I'm just going to have to stop that. But there we go. There goes most of my cuckoo clocks. Okay. Mm. I haven't looked at the chat in a while. Let me check. Um. Oh, is the Regola safe to turn back? Huh, interesting. I 
could have used that method then. Oh, someone subscribed. Thank you. Oh, uh, what else are we going to do now? Uh, okay, we'll do that section. I'll start back here. All right. Three, two, one, action. Now we'll do this section, which consists of five battery operated wall clocks, and I'm also going to do the Friends Hermley Bim Bam clock. So let's go. Nice. 41 people are watching this. That's awesome. You guys are going to see some exclusive behind the scenes footage here. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh yeah, these are wind up. I'll have. To. Actually, we'll do friends certainly first. I am first going to start off with the friends certainly Bim Bam clock. So let's do just that. All right, we got that one. And since this one doesn't have a cover on it, I'm going to go ahead and simply turn this one back. This one brings a lot of nostalgia to me because I've had this one since I was very little. Oh, and you know what? I may as well do this one for the heck of it. I may as well go over these ones that don't have glass covers. We can also do this one. All right. Managed to get a little extra there, but let's continue. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Oh, they're all safe to turn back? Wow. Oh, except for the 65-year-old one. I mean, I figured. I bet it's too old. <laughs> mm. Yeah, Bim Bam safe to turn back. Mm-hmm. Oh, let's see what we got here. Okay. Alright, we need to do... familiar. <coughs> okay. All right. Three, two, one, go. I'm going to go ahead and do this one. I took the pendulum off of it, obviously, but it's very dusty. I need to fix that. So let's turn this thing back. And there we go. There's that one. Nice. Hang this thing back up. said itself. <laughs> but that big one, I'm going to have to figure that out. Mm, this thing is heavy. Oh yeah, wow. This thing is a beast. Three, 
three, two, one, go. I decided to take this big guy off the wall and I'm going to go ahead and change it. As I said, I want to get as many as possible, but I'm going to have to do this. And just like that, it is good to go. Now the real question is, can I get it hung back up on the wall? <sighs> yeah, <laughs> eight giant clocks. These things are hard to deal with. Um. <laughs> Thanks. I've been working really hard to grow it. I've already gotten some comments about it. I should probably pick this thing up from the bottom. Ugh, this thing is heavy. Okay, now that I got those out of the way, let's go ahead and do uh, these three. Okay. Three, two, one, action. Now we're going to do these three bigger Howard Miller wall clocks. So, let's go. Oh, I might have to put that off for a second. Eh, I'll wait a few minutes before I get to those. So, uh, yeah. Sorry, I can't think clearly tonight for some reason. This is just a really big deal. I may as well get some of these out of the way. Now let's go ahead and get into this wall. Some of these, however, currently have dead batteries in them, but I can go ahead and change this one. And just like that, that one is done. And it is 11.30, so well, soon enough it's going to be 10.30. Well, technically time change doesn't happen until 2 a.m. Let me check. Oh, someone joined the Discord. Nice. Welcome. Nice. three big guys. This may take longer because I'm going to do the full round trip. Or should I just stop the pendulum? What do you guys think? Should I do the long route or should I just stop the pendulum? Because stopping the pendulum it'll make it quicker and then the video won't be as long. Um, 
but if I do the long route, then I'll, it'll just chime the full melody on 11 p.m. That will probably take longer, so... I want your guys' opinions. What do you guys think I should do? I'm gonna sit down real quick. Let's see, I got... I have four votes that I should stop, and I have one vote for going the full round trip. Or actually two votes. Wait. Wait, hold on a second. What am I thinking? No, hold up, hold up. I just made a miss, I just made a miscommunication. I just realized, if, like I did with Colonial and Emperor, I changed them right after the first melody, but if I did the same for these guys, then I wouldn't have to worry about going forward. Oh, what am I thinking? Oh, okay, yeah. Ugh, hard decision here. Either way, it'll be easier, but... Okay, some people are saying that I should turn it back. Let me see here. One, two, three, four... Um... Five... I've got six votes for stop, and I have like three or four votes for, um, for turning it back. All right, it looks like I'm getting more votes for stopping the pendulums. So I think stopping has won, at least I think. Yeah, we're, I think, yeah, that'll just be easier. So we'll just do a stop for the pendulum, I feel like. Oh, man, I can't. Let's fix that. There we go. That's a better view. Yeah, all right, we'll do it. Three, two, one, action. All right, now we're going to get into, wait, hold on. I just made a clip of that, didn't I? Now we're gonna do these three bigger. Yeah, I already got a clip of that, okay. I don't need to. Let's first start with Sandringham. And after, no, I should probably not mention that, shoot. Well, shoot. Let me look at the chat. No, I haven't messed with Japanese regulators dial. Zach, don't feel bad about yourself. You don't need to make self. You don't need to make comments like that about yourself. Okay, let's try this again. I should probably not mention the fact that I should be, that I'm live right now. Let's try this again. Three, two, one, action. Let's first start off with the Howard Miller Sandringham. 
To make it a little easier, I'm just going to go ahead and stop the pendulum. It's a bit of a quicker process, I'd say. Well, probably, if I did it either way, it would be exactly the same, probably. But I just decided to be on the safe side and stop the pendulum. I'm going to do the same for these other ones, just to be on the safer side. Better safe than sorry, am I right? Alright, uh, due to me standing right there, I'm going to have to... Three, two, one, action. Alright, I had to come over to the other side because Jenison was a little too far away. But here we are, and I am going to stop the pendulum. That will be fixed in an hour. So there, I got those three big guys, now let's move on. Yeah, Jenison's one of my favorites, I gotta say. It's up there with Westmont, definitely. All right, now we're starting to come into the main wall, you could say. Okay. All right. What are we doing next? Oh, shoot, I forgot about those two. Let me move more in view with the camera here, if that may help. <laughs> okay. Three, two, one, action. We'll go ahead and do this one since I just took it off the wall. So let's get right into it. It's 38 and there we go. That one is done. James, great to see you, dude. How you doing? <laughs> yeah, I've got a bunch. Especially on that wall right there. Just had to check the chat for a second. Okay. Thanks, James. <laughs> I appreciate you coming on here. So I'm definitely not going to be looking at the chat very much. But meanwhile, I'm going to put this back up. Oh yeah, I'll do that one. since it doesn't have a glass cover on it. Here we go. There we go. That one's done. Alright, there we go. That's just a joke that James likes to make. It's not a bad joke. I allow it. Okay. 
Okay. Uh, I don't normally, but I'm only doing it this time just so you guys can hear me. <laughs> I'm only doing the 3 2 1 action just for you guys. So, yeah. <laughs> What's next? Yeah, let's just go over to this wall. I'm going to start back here first. Three, two, one, action. Now let's come over to this wall, which is getting pretty crowded now. It's going to be quite a bit to do, but let's go tackle it. All right. Yeah, it's a habit, but I like it. Oh, I'll start with this Howard Miller. Three, two, one, action. Let's first do this Howard Miller battery operated clock. There we go. Let's come up here and do this one. Unfortunately, I'm just going to have to stop the pendulum because I cannot turn this one back. I will fix that in one hour. Here we go. And now for Howard Miller 613226. To be on the safe side, I'm just going to go ahead and stop this clock. So I will fix that a little later. And Cassell is actually safe to turn back, so I'm going to do just that. And there we go. We'll come up here and do this one now. Kind of hard to reach, but there we go. We got that one. We can come over here and do this one now. I can simply just do that. And there we go. That one's done. My anti-Japanese regulator, I'm just going to have to stop the pendulum. I cannot turn this one back because this is an antique. I will fix that later. Then we have this Beatles clock. That'll be easy enough. I okay, we just encountered a problem. It just randomly fell off the wall. How did that happen? Shoot. Hmm. Interesting. So lightweight. I don't, okay, we're gonna have to try that again. I'll have to crop that clip out. Okay, let's try this. Actually, I'm gonna wait for the blocks to be finished. I don't know. That's really mysterious how that happened. That doesn't make any sense. said Beatles. Huh. I may have said something else. My mistake. <coughs> okay. 
Let's try this again. I will go ahead and start over here now. Let's do the Beatles clock. I'm going to wait for the second hand to go by. There we go. I'm going to come over here and do Spoojal. Obviously, I'm going to have to stop this one. I can't turn it back very far. There's that one. Okay. You know what? I may as well show you guys what happened. Let's first do this Howard Miller battery operator. I oh, hold up. Something just happened. Oh, wait, never mind. It's just... Let's first do this Howard Miller bit. This one back. Because it be easy enough. I... Okay. <laughs> I can show you guys this real quick. Then we have this Beatles clock. That'll be easy enough. I... Okay, I'm going to have to crop that out. Yeah, I can easily crop that out. Uh, I probably was being too forceful with it. So that's probably a fault on my part. Oh, this, if the stream's lagging, my apologies. It's probably my internet. I mean, my computer is probably performing well. It's been, it's performing really well. It's probably my internet. There's no resistance, but if I, when I turn it back too far, it just chimes the melody again. I don't know if that's an issue, but I just didn't want to make it worse. I mean, better safe than sorry. I just decided to stop the pendulum. Howard Miller Regulator currently stopped. It was running earlier. It just mysteriously stopped. Yes, Avia E-Boy is correct. It's an iPhone 13 Pro Max. <laughs> Jeremiah, I will end the stream when I feel like it. But I don't think it's going to happen anytime soon based on the amount of clocks I have to do. But it's not an issue. Please respect my decisions. I would greatly appreciate it. <coughs> okay, what's next? Oh, yeah, mantle clocks. We'll do that. Oh, or actually, yeah, that'll work out perfectly. Okay, three, two, one action. Now let's come over and do my uh, bigger mantle clocks that are wind up. We will start over here with my Howard Miller Joyce. The timing works out perfectly because I can simply just do this. Just like that. If we come over to sessions, however, I'm going to have to stop the pendulum. I cannot turn this one back for obvious reasons. This one I will have to do, actually I might be able to do it right now. All right, I managed to get that one successfully. It's a miracle. I thought I couldn't do that one. Okay, see you later, Jeremiah. Thanks for joining us tonight. Okay, what's next? Oh, yeah, that one. This one is 
annoyingly tail heavy. Ah, I'll fix that later. I believe I can turn this one back. The, yeah, this one has to be safe to turn back, I feel like. Let's try it. Three, two, one, action. Here is the back of my Quartz Westminster Chime Mantle Clock. I believe it is actually safe to turn back, so I am going to give it a try. And it sounds like the batteries are dead in the chiming mechanism. I'll have to fix that. But there, that one's turned back. So let's go move on now. Well, the chimes are dead. I'll have to fix the batteries in that. Wait, it's not? Oh, shoot. Uh, well, the batteries are dead in the chiming mechanism, so I don't know if it matters. Well, it depends if I replace the batteries, something might happen. No, it'll be easy, because there's, there's a button on the mechanism I can press to just loop it back around to the right number of strikes. I mean... I'm sure soon enough I'll replace the batteries, but for now, uh, I'll just leave it the way it is. Will, great to see you. How you doing? Okay. Oh, those, those are going to have to wait. Because, yeah, those are going to have to wait. Uh, I could do the cottage clock and that little alarm clock while I'm at it. Here is the other cottage clock that I have. This one is easy enough since it is time only. I can simply just do that. And there we go. And while I'm at it, I will go ahead and do this little alarm clock. Just like that. Well, oh yeah, I can do this one. Oh yeah, I can easily take that out. Oh, I also need to do my mascot, shoot. I'm gonna do this one first. Three, two, one, action. We will go ahead and do, um, this is the other clock that I built, sit with my mascot. This one is going to be pretty easy because the clock face is actually removable. I can take it out. It's got a cover on it. And I can access it with ease. There we go. That one is all fixed. Okay. Oops. Oops, wrong way. There we go. And just like that. Okay. What's next? Actually, while I'm at it, I'm gonna take a brief break real quick and read the chat with you guys. <coughs> All right. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, someone brought up this right here. This is a new one. The one of sitting on top of my big Seth Thomas clock. That is a new one. Um, my aunt actually gave that to me back in September. I totally forgot to show you guys that. 
But yeah, that's a new one. It's actually plug-in. I haven't tested it yet, though. Just because it's got antique electricity and I don't want to accidentally blow a fuse. <laughs> yeah, that's a new one. Hurricane Clocks, you may be actually the first person to notice that. <laughs> Uh, how about no you, James? Just how about no you? Um, yeah, that that other rhythm clock that I had, it is no longer in the shop. I I gave it back to its owners because I didn't have success fixing it. So, I'm just taking a brief break right now. I've already done quite a bit of recording. Oh, wow. We've already been on here for over an hour. Jeez. That's seriously how long it's taking to make this video. I am going to be up late. Uh, Primex has not yet fixed itself. Uh, Skyscan already fixed itself. <laughs> Yeah, I'm already close to 30k. We're getting really close. Oh, Yoshi, or BEA is here. How you doing? I almost called you Yoshi. <laughs> I'm so used to that now. Let me check. Oh, someone else just joined the Discord. Turkey's Clocks, welcome to the server. Uh, make sure you read the rules. <sighs> I'm starting to get tired. You think I'll hit 30k on November 11th? Hmm. That's oddly specific. I mean, who knows? Uh, what is my sub count at, anyways? Well, we're at 29.7k, so it could happen at any time. Who knows? <laughs> oh, here we go. We got stuff going off now. I'm gonna wait for all these to go off, then I'm gonna do those. Because those will be easy. Uh, Gilbert, I have not yet fixed. The problem is, I've been so lazy these days, I haven't felt motivated to do repairs. Well, it's mostly because I've been so insanely busy with school these past few months. That's primarily why. So, I apologize if I've been slacking with repairs. Hi, Evelyn. Sorry if I mispronounced that, but welcome to the stream. Great to have you here. Clock party insanity. has still not gone off. Jeez. It is having this problem where it's running behind all the time.
Oh, see you later, Yoshi, if you're heading off. I was glad to see you on here. Yeah, Regulator was working, but it just stopped unexpectedly. Ah, okay. Thank you. Alright, see you later, James. Thanks for tuning in tonight. It was great seeing you. I have a DM on Discord. I'll respond to that later. It's just running behind by quite a bit now. Oh. Okay. That went off very late. Has everything gone off? Uh, yeah, okay. Let's go ahead and do these bracket clocks. Yeah, it needs regulated. I need to figure out how to regulate it. But for now, I'm going to do my bracket clocks. <coughs> Excuse me. Jupiter is still not working, sadly. Alright, three, two, one, action. Now let's go ahead and do these five mechanical clocks. This does not include my HAC or Revere clock because those two currently do not work. But let's go ahead and start with my Howard Miller Graham bracket. So three, there we go. Now for Ridgeway. Now, Jock. It does run behind by a little bit, so I'm going to set it a couple minutes ahead. And here's Thomas Tompion. Now, we will come down and do my Howard Miller and Worthington. And there we go, those are done. Nice. All right, I got all those done. What all is left is the question. There can't be that much left. Oh, I forgot about these up here. Oh, I said they're too high for me to reach and I don't know if I wanna get out the step stool right now. Ugh, hard decision. This is a hard decision. Do I even feel like getting these is the question. It's gonna be really hard to get those. Oh, uh, what all? Oh, I have this electri electrical one right here I can do. Perfect. Let me turn my flash on. I almost forgot to do this one, but let's go ahead and turn this one back since it's plugged in. All right, that was very brief, but I got that one. Okay. I believe I actually did know that. Hmm. Hmm. Wow, an hour and 20 minutes already. Oh yeah, the mascot. Oh, except I might be too late. Oh, hold up, I got an idea. Ah, I was too late. I'll fix that. We move all this stuff out of the way.
What is my loudest clock? It's probably my Spoojal 31 Day Schoolhouse clock. It's quite loud, honestly. I'm waiting for this one to be done so I can do it. Okay, that just went off. I'm going to go ahead and do this one. Three, two, one, action. Here is my official mascot for the channel. I almost forgot to do it, but here we are. Let's go ahead and turn this one back. It's actually 11.07. And there we go. The official mascot is ready to go. Nice. So what all is left? Actually, I'm gonna sit down with the chat for a little bit. Is there anything else that I'm forgetting? I'm trying to look around. Some of these ones way up here are uh, very out of reach. I'm not, I feel like getting the step stool out might be really risky. So, uh, this is a hard one. I might have to do it off camera and just make a separate clip for it. Yeah, I wish it was called that, but I don't think I'm going to call it that, unfortunately. Otherwise, it would look like an actual Howard Miller model when it really isn't. Zach, I saw your ping on Discord. I should have looked at it earlier, but I was busy reading the chat. Hmm, oh, uh, just... It's 09. Ian Graham, I'll have to wait like five more minutes to do that. Yeah, I'm going to enjoy the extra hour of sleep. I love sleeping in. Uh, yes, I did do Hermley Bim Bam. Uh, let's see here. Let's see, I got those. Those guys are stopped, are waiting to be turned back on. All these are stopped, waiting to be turned back on. Joyce, I turned back successfully. Sessions, I stopped. Um, battery operated clock, I turned back. That built one, I did. All my brackets in Worthington, I did. That cottage clock, I did. I think we got just about everything minus those ones up there. I wish HAC worked too, but parts there are om parts for that clock are probably almost extinct now since that clock is so incredibly rare. So yeah. <coughs> Yeah, I like sleeping in too. And yeah, Revere, it's a nice clock. I wish it worked too. The rotor's dead though. I have never heard of Red Ball 4. So, yeah. The centerpiece clock? Huh. Wait, is he talking about my Zodiac Art wall clock? Is that what you're talking about, clock collector? I'll wait for a response from him. No, I don't play GTA V. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, I actually did that one earlier. You can skip back on the stream a little bit, you'll see me change it. Let's see here. I think we can actually get straight to making an outro. Yeah, I think we can get right to the outro now. Let me see how long all these clips are making this video. Oh, jeez. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. I've got 31 clips on this. It's soon going to be 32, probably. <laughs> All right, I think we're gonna go ahead and do the outro. I've gotten everyone I can. I'm probably just gonna have to skip these ones way up here because they're very out of reach. And I don't wanna accidentally cause an injury to myself if I like fell off the step stool. I wouldn't want you guys to see that. Except everything is going off, so. second actually I'm looking at the chat yeah I've never played Minecraft no if I slept in the clock shop I would not sleep at all there's some clocks that I can't turn off at all like such as the Worthington so yeah that would be an issue and also Ridgeway and technically the jock, too. I forgot about that one. Wow, thank you, Zach, for bringing that up. I almost forgot to do that one. Okay, Zach, thank you for bringing that up. I almost forgot to do that one, literally. Wow, okay. So there's going to be 33 clips, actually. Wow. Oh, except I got to shake it off the wall. one, but let's do this Westland Quartz Octagon wall clock. Should be rather easy to do. And there we go. That one is done. Okay. Let's get this one back up on the wall. That should be good. If your phone is like that, you might want to turn it off. You don't want it to overheat. Oh, you will? Wait, Emmett, are you in the Discord? Are, are you
Are you in the... Oh, yeah, he is in the Discord. Do you think you could send me some tips on Discord? I definitely want some tips on how to regulate this clock. I would definitely want some tips. I know you're in the Discord. Um, could you send me some tips there in the Clock TV Discord server? I definitely appreciate that. Alright, I got that one. Alright. Yeah, okay. Now we're ready to do the outro. computer is in view. Okay, I'm gonna have to just go like this. Yeah, that, that'll work out. Alright, three, two, one, action. Alright everyone, so I think I've gotten at least most of the clocks in my shop. There were actually a few that I missed, but it's for a reason. It is mostly these ones up here. They are too high for me to reach and I'm not tall enough to do so. And getting a step stool out is sort of risky considering how tight of a squeeze it is in those areas. I don't want to take the risk of potentially damaging anything in the shop or damaging or injuring myself in the process. So better safe than sorry. These ones unfortunately have to be left out of this season's video. I apologize if anyone was hoping for me to change these clocks, but I'm just doing what's best for my well-being. But other than that, pretty much every clock in the shop has been changed to its rightful time, one hour back. And so that's pretty much going to wrap up this video. I really hope you all enjoyed watching this. I apologize in advance if my camera work was below average. A lot of these battery operated clocks are really hard to change with one hand while I'm holding my camera. So as you may expect, I do encounter some camera work issues, but I am well on the way to fixing those hopefully. But with all that said, I thank you all so much for watching this video. I put a lot of work into getting everything ready and I appreciate y'all taking the time to view this, and happy daylight savings time. And so with that said, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you all in the next video. So with that said, bye for now. Okay. Now it is time for some feedback. How do you guys think that sounded? Did that sound like a good outro? Did you guys like that? Did I do wording well? Or do you think it needs to be remade? Because I will happily remake it. But what do you guys what did you guys think of that outro? Was it good? I will happily take any feedback or concerns about how this is turning out because I got pretty much every clip needed for the video so now I want y'all's feedback. How did everything turn out? Did I do a good job of doing clips despite some poor camera work? Was it good? I will happily take any feedback. <laughs> Thanks for the comments on my mustache. Well, it looks like everyone liked it. Yeah, looks like everyone likes it. Well, that's great to hear. But for now, I'm going to have to get...
get to work on. I'm gonna have to get to work on editing this because <laughs> this is going to definitely take a while to edit. I mean, considering it's Sunday now, daylight savings doesn't occur for another 90 minutes, but I want to try and get this done. Because I'm going to have to go to sleep. I might sleep in, and then I'll just forget to edit, and then it'll just take a while. So I'm going to just have to get to work on editing this right now and try and get it scheduled. Because I don't want to accidentally forget it after I wake up. So I'm going to have to get straight to work on this. I'm definitely be going to bed way later than usual. So let me see here. I am thinking I might stay on here for like eight more minutes maybe. I think we might call it at 30. So about seven more minutes I'll stay on here with you guys, but I need to get all these clips together and do some editing. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and airdrop all this. Yeah, I started in Graham, you can probably see it by now. Okay. Yeah, I have this is a MacBook. I use it primarily for editing. I don't have editing software on this PC. see you. Welcome to the stream. Although we might be calling it off in like five minutes, so I'd say you got here just in the nick of time. But good to see you came on here. My hair does not look good without a hat on, I feel like. I'm on Eastern Time. It's 12.25 a.m. right now. Aha! It's done. Yay. Okay, so now... Drag everything in here. It is lagging like crazy. It just lagged while I was doing that. Okay, now to get all of this together. I definitely raise my volume. Hi, everybody. Hi everybody, Clock TV here, and welcome to another video. But this one is a rather special one, because I'm sure you guys are probably thinking, is this a whining clock series video? Well, let's first look at the date and time. November 5th. That date seems familiar. Oh yeah, it's <laughs> that date. I like when I said, <gasps> I like that gasp. <laughs> hey guys, it's daylight savings time yet again. And I gotta turn these clocks back. And this is the first time I'm doing this in this new. This is that's currently running. Ooh, this is gonna be quite the truth. We can get right into this. I'm definitely gonna add some transitions right to this. this. So, as per usual, Let's go ahead and get started with that. Actually, I'm going to do this. Get started with that. And the first one is... 
is going to be colonial. And because now for they're done. Done. Now for the tall black shelf, which has Steve. I don't see why this would get copyrighted. I'm not playing anything copyrighted on here. It earlier has some of my smaller mantle clocks. Starting on top, you will go and do my uh, big deal. Actually, let's move down. Let's move down. And take these off. Here is my way. Take these off so that. Here is my West Clocks alarm clock, which is really finicky to hold to one hand. I'm going to go ahead and do this little... Uh, that one is done. Now we're going to do this little antique West Clocks. There you go, that worked out perfectly. Okay, that deserves a transition right there. I'm sure soon, I'm sure I'm gonna hit 30k pretty easily. I'm already at 29.7k. So See you later, Zach. Thanks for joining us today. Looks like it might be about 23 minutes, the current duration of this video, 23 minutes. I'm still working on editing, uh, oh I just realized, yeah. I'm still working on editing, I know this is going to be due today, so yeah. I want to have this due today, because I want to get it out pretty much right as this is happening. But it is 12.30am and we've already been on here for over an hour and a half now. We've definitely exceeded my limit, <laughs> but it was for good reason. So I'm thinking, do you guys have any last minute, oh, excuse me. Hmm. Do you guys have any last minute comments, feedback, or concerns about tonight's live stream? Cause I think we're gonna be calling this off very soon. Cause I need to get this edited and I kind of need to concentrate on it, so... Plus, I want to get to bed at a decent time. So, do you guys have any comments before I head off for the night? Because I will happily answer them. Because we are going to be concluding this stream within a couple minutes. the best vintage clock I got. I did not get that many new clocks in 2022, I feel like. Though, what what did I get in 2022? I mean, I did get the jock, but I'm, that's not very vintage. Um, the cottage clocks, uh, I don't know if they're that vintage. They They're probably a little bit I don't know if I got that many. I don't think I got any antique clocks this year, I feel like. Yeah, I feel like it. See you later, Hurricanic. Thanks for hopping on. Yeah, I am sleepy. That's why I'm probably going to read. I'm going to head off in a minute. 
I, I don't want to pull off pull up TTS right now because I'm kind of just wanting to get some last minute comments here. I mean, that would be nice, but I I kind of just want to. Uh, I mean, blooper sounds funny. Uh, I could include it. I might actually do that. Yeah. I might. I'm gonna temporarily unlist this stream, but once the video goes live. Um, I'm gonna make this stream public. But, yeah. The most expensive one is probably the jock. $600, pretty much. Okay. I feel like I've answered enough questions. I'm kind of putting this off long enough. I need to get to editing, and I need to get to sleep. So, I think with all this said, I think I'm gonna go ahead and conclude this stream now, because... I want to get this done, and I want to get to sleep, and without having to worry about not reading the chat. But with that said, I think we're going to conclude tonight's stream. I appreciate every single one of you that's hopped on tonight to watch me do this. This was a big event, and I'd say it turned out successful. I appreciate everyone's feedback about how I did, and with that said, we're going to be calling it off here. And so, thank you all to everyone who hopped on tonight. And with that said, I'm excited to release this. Stay tuned. It's coming very soon. And with that said, I am going to be heading off now. And with that said, bye everybody.